Welcome to this uh, podcast. And one question a lot of people have been asking me lately is, will artificial intelligence replace software developers, human software developers? And sort of in the last, it's, I mean, that's an interesting thing that we're even posing now. That's an interesting question that we're even asking right now. How interesting is that? That, that in IT, I mean, probably one of the highest ranked positions is software development. And I mean, we're already seeing, um, you know, knowledge databases out there and chatbots sort of replace support to some degree. I don't think, you know, you can replace tech support in the short term, but you're already seeing knowledge, huge knowledge databases out there, chatbots that are starting to replace support. And I can see a day when that might happen, maybe in the next 10 years. That That's certainly uh, something that's doable. And in terms of quality assurance, you know, we're seeing automated scripts and stuff like that start to replace uh, some of the things QA do. But what about software developers? That opens up uh, a whole new set of questions about the actual nature of artificial intelligence itself. And can that be done in the short term, long term? And so I'm here to sort of talk about my thoughts. These are just opinions. They're not uh, you know, obviously we can't predict the future. But one thing I've sort of thought about is um, there's there's one reason. And actually, I'll, I'll, I'll back up. Uh, I'll get to that in a minute. But I'm just going to back up for a second. So wanted to talk about artificial intelligence. That's something that goes all the way back to Greek, uh, you know, ancient Greek times. This idea of artificial intelligence that was something they were thinking about creating I think it was Talos, uh, one of their, uh, an automated giant that had some intelligence. So it's not something new. We've thought about this for a very, very long time. What if we, we could create artificial intelligence? And obviously this picked up steam in the 50s where computers started to really take off and um, were invented. And, um, you know, it had a huge, uh, uh, I mean, it was, they were hugely interested in this, but I want to say in the mid 80s, maybe early 90s, sort of disappeared for a while. And they called that the AI winter, where people just suddenly realized, okay, this is much harder than we thought. And it kind of went into this thing they called the AI winter. It was about, I want to say seven years ago, around 2015, right around there where interest began to pick up again mainly because of Tesla and some other companies out there that were starting to invest heavily into AI technology. And now, of course, it's all the rage again. And we're hearing people say that by 2030, there won't be human developers anymore, you know, software developers. And I'm here to say that I don't see that happening in the short term. Now, long term, obviously, it's probably going to happen. I would never say never. But by 2030, I don't think so. And here is the one word that why I don't think that's going to happen. It's creativity. It's not talked about as a skill in software development a lot, but it's fundamental, um, fundamentally important. And again, not a lot of people talk about it. They'll talk about what are your technical skills? What are you able to do this or that? Or, or do you know Java? Or do you know, um, you know, Bootstrap or this language? Are you a full stack developer? All these things. But really, that's a hugely important thing that I think is underrated, being creative. And that's where AI is really going to be behind the ball for a long time uh, in terms of human, uh, you know, competing against humans. So, you know, for instance, if a software developer is given a project or part of a project, um, it's up to them to decide how to code that, how to go ahead and implement that. And there's actually a lot of that involves creativity. Um, maybe the solution proposed was not was uh, was not a good solution. So, um, you know, they have to come up with another solution. And if that doesn't work, then sometimes they have to get really creative and come up with, you know, think outside the box. And that's why I don't see AI in the short term replacing humans anytime soon. In fact, my personal opinion, and again, this is my personal opinion, I think that is decades away, if not 100 years, but definitely decades away from software developers being completely replaced by AI. And when that does happen, I think we're going to be in a very strange world. Um, things are going to be very radically different very quickly. But in the short term, no, I, I don't see that uh, because you, you have to have some level of creativity and AI has not has, really hasn't exhibited uh, its own creativity yet. And, it's, and like I say, it's not that it can't get there, but I don't see that in the short term. Now, 
in the short term, I mean, they've already proved this. AI, I mean, they actually have a company, I think it's Deep Blue, I, I forget the name of it, of the project, but yeah, I mean, they have, a, they have an AI that's actually performing some rudimentary coding tasks. And that's what I actually see in the short term. So for instance, if you got this project and you have some simple thing that needs to be done, maybe they need to go change uh, 1,000 lines of code it's a very manual process and they can put in some parameters, put in some, uh, you know, punch in some parameters and the AI will go ahead and do that. It'll go find all those spots and do it. And that's going to save actually a lot of time because it'll get the, give developers an opportunity to focus on heavier tasks that require uh, more imagination and require a lot more creativity. But the simple mundane tasks that uh, really kind of bore developers, like maybe they have to go, like I said, make this same change in 1,000 different spots. Well, I, AI can be can probably do that and probably will be able to do that. So really, I see the, in the short term, and I say short term, next 20 to 30 years, I really see AI as being a tool. It's just going to be a tool where it will assist in projects. So for instance, uh, it might be able to handle 25% of the project that human developers don't really want to do. They find it boring. It's not exciting, uh, but it's easy for an AI to do it. They're not going to get bored. They'll go ahead and do that part of the project and it will give developers time to focus on other things. So I really see it more as a collaborative effort for many decades to come. Now, whether we get to that point in the future where it will actually be uh, actually be able to do complete tasks by itself, um, we probably will get there someday. It's just a question of when can they make AI creative to the point where they can compete and even replace humans. And again, that might be, that's kind of a scary thought in itself. Okay. Well, thanks for listening to this podcast. And if you guys have any comments, uh, I'd, I'd like to see them. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this.